You are watching Endeavor TV with the Samsung N220 netbook. I'm going to demonstrate to you a few um, HD movies, um, YouTube HD movies, Photoshop CS4 editing 5 megapixel pictures, then we have Counter Strike of course, and um, I'm going to tell you what all this stuff is Samsung and uh, Samsung installed, pre-installed on the netbook and which you should delete. So let's start off with a YouTube uh, YouTube video. First standard definition of 360p. This is just a music video to show you that um, it has SRX surround, true surround sound. It sounds pretty good. And yeah, if you play a standard YouTube video, you can see it's playing smooth. We switch it to 720p, it gets a little bit choppy. It's not that. It's still watchable. Let's buffer it a little bit. So, if you want to, you can still watch it. I don't recommend it though. And if we go another step higher with 1080p let me pause this for a second and of course I'm going to show you around the system a little bit too how, how good the keyboard is but first the videos so 1080p on YouTube is not watchable it's maybe one frame per three seconds or two seconds so that's impossible. If we go to another website though, like endeavor.com, of course, um, it displays everything. You can see I have the uh, bar here hidden, and yeah, if you scroll through it, it's pretty good readable. Of course, we can zoom in. That's even better. But we don't really need that, so this was YouTube HD and some basic browsing. Let's continue with a standard DivX movie. Of course that's playable on the Atom N450. It has, by the way, 1 gigs of RAM, a 250GB hard drive and 1.66 GHz. So this is a DivX movie. If you play this um, with the 6 cell battery that's integrated, it will uh, play for about 7.5 hours. So you can watch, I don't know, two really long movies. Avatar two times maybe. <laughs> if you wish to do so, then you can even watch Avatar in 720p. What, but what I have here right now is Big Buck Bunny. I always use that for HD testing. So this is 720p and while this is playing I'm going to show you that the display is so great to watch from the side. It almost doesn't change anything in the colors. Um, we have a major problem though if you want to look at it from the top as you can already see if I am right in front of it it's great. Then if I go up just a little bit, it already changes a lot in the whites. And yeah, it's pretty much unwatchable from here. And that's a big problem because the maximum angle you have on the screen here to the back is just like this. So it's not that much, especially if you're a tall guy like me. Actually, I'm only 6 foot 2, but that's still enough. And yeah, 720p video is playable. So let's continue with the 1080p. It's actually going to be the same thing. This move, this video is out since is out for three years, I think, and you can download it if you just search for the Big Bug Bunny term on Google. So you can test your own netbook with it too. And yeah, this is 1080p right now. And it plays better than YouTube, but 
if you have a scene like this one that's coming up, you can clearly see the sound isn't right with the isn't always right with the video, but yeah, you should stick with 720p if you play it from your hard drive. Then let's move on to a Photoshop CS4 test. Um, I'm going to edit 5 megapixel pictures just to show you that 1 gigs of RAM on a netbook isn't enough maybe if you want to do such kind of thing but uh, actually with the new paint in Windows 7 you don't even need Photoshop that's what I would say but a lot of people want to see this so we have a 2560 times 1920 resolution picture I'm just going to maybe cut out this part insert it again move it around to show you it's stuttering a little bit and then we have of course some smudging and as you can see it has to load a little bit but if you do basic things like painting it shouldn't be a problem and yeah so this is Photoshop CS4 it works but you should stick with paint then if you just open up a 5 megapixel picture and go from one picture to the next picture you can see it's pretty quick and I like that a lot because usually it takes a long time with, uh, comp uh, with the JPEGs to go from one to the next if they are big these are about half a meg no, actually, three megabytes per picture, so they are uncompressed right from the web from my camera. Um, now a little bit talking about these programs. We have an easy resolution manager, which allows you to go up to 1024 times 768, but then the whole thing, uh, the screen is going to be uh, smushed, and that's all. You should only use that if you can't reach anything on the bottom of the screen, like in Windows Live Messenger, the apply button. Then we have a chargeable USB, of course Office trial, we had McAfee but I only deinstalled that. Samsung Update Plus is going to annoy you a lot because it always asks you if you want to make your computer faster. The user guide, that's really practical, um, you have the whole manual on your computer always, so if you're looking for something you can just look that up, it's really good. Cyberlink and any PC is crap, you can deinstall that, uh, that's just for syncing with your home desktop, but you should use Dropbox for that some games and yeah let's start CS um, Counter-Strike and while that starts I'm going to show you the keyboard which is really good in America you will have a smaller enter button but everything else should stay the same um, we have of course some basic functionality buttons like this one is actually for changing the um, um, processor setting from Come on, from normal mode to silent mode and speed mode. But normal mode should be good. And then with the ports, if you haven't already seen them, we have on the right side, on the left side, a headphone, microphone, USB, a fan, which is never on. You can't hear the system e even if it plays 1080p videos and the um, uh, CPU is used a lot. So it's a really, really silent system, except for the hardware, which you can hear sometimes, but that's just normal with all notebooks. Then we have the LAN port and power in. On the front there is the speaker, a uh, card reader and uh, the power on. And on the right we have two USBs, VGA and Kensington lock. So let's start off a game really quick before my YouTube video has to and so this was the Samsung N220 in a quick test for Endeavor.com visit um, youtube.com slash EndeavorTV for an unboxing um, other tests and yeah so just a quick game you can see it's playable, 800 times 600 resolution, and this was Balashgar for Endeavor TV.